Toyer B Refractor Telescope Installation Guidelines. Carefully remove all parts from the cardboard box and lay them on a table or on the floor in order to make sure all the items listed in parts list are accounted for. Extend the tripod leg to the desired height and fasten the tripod adjustment buckle. Place the telescope tube on the tripod and rotate the knob to fix it. Remove the thumb screws from the telescope main tube. Place the finder scope bracket onto the telescope tube and fix it by screw. After installing the telescope, remove the dust cover at both ends of the diagonal mirror, eyepiece, finder scope and the telescope main tube. Insert the diagonal mirror into the end of the telescope tube. Install the 20mm eyepiece into the diagonal mirror and tighten the set screw. When a high magnification observation is required, a 3x multiplier can be inserted between the eyepiece and the diagonal mirror. Install the phone adapter on the eyepiece, and the phone lens is aimed at the eyepiece. Turn on the Bluetooth button switch and find the Bluetooth named AB Shutter 3 in the phone. Press the camera button to take a photo. The safest way to look at the sun through your own telescope is not to. Not only could you damage your eye, but you can also damage the lenses in the telescope. The safest practical way to see the sun is by eyepiece projection. Line up your telescope with the sun, but do not look through the eyepiece. Toyer B. Discover the wonders of the night sky with a classic refractor telescope, the Celestron Astromaster. A great first telescope to enjoy with your family. The compact 70mm model reveals dazzling views of craters on the moon, the rings of Saturn, the moons of Jupiter, the Orion Nebula, and many more of the most popular celestial objects or choose the larger 90mm model for brighter, more detailed images. Plus, you can use either AstroMaster during the day for up-close views of landscape and wildlife. Even if you've never used a telescope before, you'll be navigating the night sky in just minutes with your AstroMaster. The Alt Azimuth mount with pan handle makes pointing at celestial objects easy and intuitive. Your AstroMaster includes everything you need for a great night of stargazing two eyepieces, a permanently mounted red dot finder scope, and a sturdy, full-size steel tripod with accessory tray. When you're out under the stars, use Celestron's free Sky Portal mobile app for iOS and Android to locate objects in the night sky. As you observe, listen to Sky Portal's audio descriptions for the most popular objects. Happy stargazing! This Vistari telescope backpack makes carrying your backpack around very comfortable and it's extremely light. So your Van Starry telescope comes with this very handy backpack for when you want to set up your telescope out in the park or at home. So, first step is to take out the tripod and you want to undo these clips so the legs just drop out. Okay, this will set it up at a nice height. 
Okay, then we tighten them up. Make sure all six are closed. And we tighten this in the middle. This is a nice sturdy aluminium frame. It's very strong. Okay, we can lift this handle. And we're good to put our telescope in. Our two frame is set up. Now we want to take out our telescope. Now the first thing we need to do is attach this on here. There's a screw here that lines up nicely. Okay, this goes in place. And we simply tighten here. Okay, once you've got it nice and tight, make sure you fold this down so it allows us to clip this in. Bingo. Nice and easy. Perfect setup. Okay. Next step for us is to attach our viewfinder. Now, the nice thing about this is this attaches no screws here. It just simply slides in place. Now we take our viewfinder and we want to pass this through until it sits about in the middle. Okay, once we have it in the right place, simply tighten up the screws. And again, we're good to go. Okay, once we have this in, take this piece, we attach it here. Okay, here comes one of the most important points. We just want to take our lens. We have this is where we're going to attach our phone. Okay, so firstly, this needs to be nice and wide. Okay, so this can slot in. Okay, once we're in, we tighten this up. Now, once it's nice and tight, we attach our phone to the back side, making sure that our camera lines up with the lens. Okay, this is perfect for you when you want to take your kids out to the park, and show them the moon or the stars in the sky. Once we've got this set up, make sure you turn on your camera so you can see if you've lined it up correctly. Once you have, just slots in, tighten the screw, and there we have it. Okay. Now, a few functions from here to make sure you get the perfect setup. We have our handle, which is going to allow us to move it up and down. And we have this one here, which is going to make us take it left and right once we've got the perfect setup. And this last one, we loosen it, pull out this lever, and up and down, we simply just twist. Okay, that looks good for me. There we go. EMARTH Refractor Telescope Carefully remove all the parts from the box and lay them on the table to make sure all the items in the list are accounted for. Adjust the tripod. It can be adjusted to three stage up to 51.57 inches. Extend the tripod. Adjust the height. And rotate the handle to secure the platform. Place the telescope to the top of the tripod and rotate the knot to fix it. Remove the screw and place the finder scope. After installing the telescope, remove the dust cover both in the diagonal mirror and telescope main tube. Insert the diagonal mirror into the end of the telescope tube. Install the 25mm eyepiece into the diagonal mirror and tighten up the set screw. Emarth 